Oh, it's just Jorrid. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Little Nightmares Theory video. But not just any theory video. I can't tell you how many times I've been requested to do one on the up-and-coming TV series Little Nightmares. So, this is for all of you out there who have requested it, and even the people who didn't. Hopefully, it will give you some more information about it. And if you didn't know this was a thing, I guess now you do. So, I'm going to start from well the start and warning this video may contain spoilers you've been warned june 12th 2017 hollywood reporter tweeted out exclusive russo brothers duo behind captain america civil war are adapting hashtag little nightmares video game for tv with a link to the article Little Knights shared this on Twitter, and for all of you that don't know, Little Knights is actually the main Twitter account for Little Nightmares. And then once this was tweeted, Tarsia, who created Little Nightmares, retweeted it too. I remember how excited I was to hear it, as Little Nightmares was just an amazing game, something different that I feel, as a player, I needed. So, to think there was going to be a show about it just got me so excited, it was quite embarrassing. Anyway, in the article, it stated that Henry Selick, who's known for his movies such as The Nightmare Before Christmas, James and the Giant Peach, and Coraline. And thus, we were told that Henry Selick was going to be the director. And the Russo brothers, who have worked on The Avengers, Captain America, are going to be co-producing the Little Nightmares TV series. Then it proceeds to tell us what this show is going to be basically be about like a little mini plot of it so it's told that it's going to be the little nightmares game follows a nine-year-old girl named six who finds herself trapped on the bottom of a terror-filled ship named the moor with hunger and the debts one goes to associate that hunger and the fiends the storyline follows six as she tries to escape from the ship while evading capture and death at the hands of characters named the janitor the twin chefs and the lady. So, that pretty much just sums up it's going to be about six and what we know from the game. But, this already sparks numbers of questions. The main two being, is this a prequel or a sequel to the game? Now, we could theorize about this all day, but that's for another video, maybe. However, if this turns out the way that I think it will, it will answer a number of key questions about the Moor and the universe it's in. But I would like them to keep some things a mystery, as I feel like that's part of the charm of Little Nightmares. But I do theorise this is why the comics were cancelled, so they could preserve the story for the TV adaptation. Anyway, moving on with the video. So, as of now, while this video is being scripted, the IMDB page has been updated. And if you didn't know, IMDB is actually quite a useful resource in the entertainment industry. The site goes out its way to give you information about shows and etc, etc, but usually the details are on point. So it's a good source to go to. And what is interesting, when I originally went to this IMDB page, there wasn't a lot of information. But now, if I go to the IMDB page, there have been quite a few updates to a lot of information regarding the show, which is good for us, which means that the project is alive and wow, touch wood. And like I said, the information that has been provided is new, especially to me. And one of the things that I have found to be a blessing is how this show is going to be produced, as in presented. And through the site, we are told that it's actually going to be presented in the style of a TV series. And it's listed as an animation. Now, for some of you, you may not be very pleased with that. But I will tell you why it's a good fit. And how it will be vital to the show if it is going to achieve the recognition and revenue for both parties involved in making it. Because what you do have to remember is if it does flop and it doesn't do well, they aren't going to go and carry on producing, as I will explain later on in this video. I mentioned two things in this video already that are important, which are Henry Selick and animation. So why are these important, Jordan? You blubbering fool. Wow, my friends. Henry Selick is one of the best directors for animation 
a lot of his work is recognized to be well received and rated, not to mention he has been nominated for an Oscar and in his time in animation he has won 8 wins in different variant categories and he's also been nominated for 14 of these variants. You may recognize some of his work which would include The Nightmares Before Christmas, James and the Giant Peach and Coraline. Now those are some pretty high end films. Now let me ask you this, what do you think they all have in common? Well I'll tell you, one is a dark theme, two is stop motion, and three is amazing art direction. Now Little Nightmares shares most of these traits, so this is in my opinion something I can definitely get behind, not to mention Henry Selick will be very comfortable with this position, as if you look at his work on Coraline, you'll notice that you might find there be a few features from that film that make it over into the TV series, and if that's the case, I welcome it with open arms, as Coraline is an absolute masterpiece crafted animation, not to mention it's stop motion as well, which brings the whole thing alive. So, with the blabbering out the way and the old excitement, let's talk about the cast and crew that is currently stated, which is... Series is directed by Henry Selick, who we have discussed. Series writing credits is Dave Mervick. I think everyone in Little Nightmares fandom should already know this legend by now. And the series writing credits is Anthony Russo and obviously Joe Russo, the brothers. The series executive producer is Stephen Vladimir Bugang. I am very sorry that I butchered that name, but probably he won't be watching, so it'll be fine. And if he is watching, I am terribly sorry. But you may know this gentleman as he is also the producer on We Happy Few. The other series executive producer is Sam Gatter. Jesus, these names are going to kill me. But anyway, this gentleman helped also produce Ace Combat Joint Assault. Then as we go further down the list, the series is produced by Dan Javins. This gentleman was also a producer on We Happy Few as well. And as we move further down the list, another series executive producer, Dimitri M. Johnson. Dimitri also has had a hand in producing We Happy Few as well, as well as Life is Strange. And last but not least, series executive produced by Anthony Russo and Joe Russo, which we already know about. So, like I said earlier in the video, it's a very interesting set of information that's still coming out, which is very good for all of us because you know it's still alive and wow the project like i said touch wood don't want to jinx it but we also have a very respectable lineup and talented people working on this project but there's also one more thing that interests me dave mervick's role among being series writing he has also a subcategory which is characters now for us all the fans of little nightmares this is some great news, and it reassures us that the story will be true to the game, which is what we really, really want. And with Dave being there, that is another validation that it's going to be took seriously and at the game's level, rather than bumping it off to Hollywood and making it all fancy and all that for just a few Netflix customers. So ladies and gentlemen, that is what we know so far about the Little Nightmares TV show, and be rest assured, any new and interesting information that is released, I will keep you up to date on. So remember, if you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel myself further, then just hit subscribe, like, and drop a comment. Let me know how you're doing, let me know how you like the video. And also, don't forget to check out my gaming channel that I've recently started to upload on. So. All the theories and stuff you can find here at the main channel, but with that shameless plug out the way, let me know what you guys and gals think about this theory video, and let me know what you're excited to see in the Little Nightmares TV show, let me know in the scenes you'd like to see, let me know if there's anything you hope there isn't, or anything like that. Let's get a discussion going, and let's build some more hype before it's released. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you the best morning, day, or night, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you all in the next theory video. Bye!